What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Madden 19. You know, to me, Madden has three major tackling issues right now. I want to show them all to you from the same game, mind you, and talk about the issues they cause and why they need to be fixed. So, first thing here, gang tackles. Been an issue with Madden a long time, but really to a degree, it's also pushed the pile, which we were sold when the game was being promoted. So, Fournette comes down, gets in a tackle with Weddle, and now no one can latch onto this animation, so everyone is literally spun off. Now, when you have this spin happen, you obviously have a propensity for one move to break a lot of tackles and get into open field, but then other players can't interact at the end of the animation, so number 27 kind of just collapses. I'm thankful number 22 comes in and gets a tackle animation to drive him down to the ground, but the offense struggles here a lot too, so watch this from the opposite angle. You know that the spin is going to happen. You know that the offense right now is struggling to find people to block, but there's no check and balance. I want you to watch the right side of your screen, number 74, the lineman comes in, and literally, this is an offensive lineman, leaps the entire pile. The blocking logic gets so screwed up by this that number 12 and number 10 are blocking in different directions, but not actually finding any targets, so number 12 just hops like a rabbit off the field. Now... The impact is a big issue with this too, so you see a scenario here where I'm throwing to a receiver, well really the AI is throwing to a receiver, I have a corner in position to make a tackle, but there's no impact, because an animation has to start. Now on a smaller level, the gang tackles are broken here too, because here's Eric Weddle, he can't engage in this tackle, he's just going to dip his shoulder and then stand off to the side. So even on a smaller scale, the gang tackles don't work. Now, you have a whole different scenario when you have players branching animations like this where a block turns into a tackle that shouldn't because the actual player getting tackled had an animation selected that wasn't fitting the player because they were being blocked, so essentially the player just tackles himself. For any of this to work, we have to have a tackling system that works. When we talk about ratings, push the pile, physics-based tackling, anything. So when the core of the game tackling is broken, the rest of the game will follow. Love to know what you guys think about this. Appreciate you checking it out. Back very shortly with more commentary. 